Hello there, everyone, and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new campaign in Old World Blues. I'm your host, Mr. Mokolova, but we were playing as the Sons of Kaga, but unfortunately, we're down on our luck. The Wasteland can be hard on those unready to survive its trials, but the unchosen one, a royal chosen, was not the first to be elected to save their tribe and become their elder. There was another more fiery and furious candidate that was also trained from birth to take the title of the chosen one, but... The village chose to ignorantly cast them out and with incredible pain he accepted their terms. His departure also meant the exodus of hundreds of brave men and women who would follow his trend to the prophecy, or threat of the prophecy. These great warriors helped him form the sons of Kaga that would some soon rule a swath of land in the Nevada and Gauntlet. His journey was a long and arduous one. Along the way he fought many trials. Having gained his signature colossal steel armor and power fest through combat, he was truly unmatched on the battlefield. Now he must look ahead to the future struggles he could threaten the existence of his fledgling nation and sever his foretold prophecy, or he serve his foretold prophecy. Chosen or not, we will prevail. We must not harbor grudges. Well, seems we're already pretty high as is, and that's kinda of hard to get. Can you get more war sport? I think eventually you can, right? You always get more stability. I want more war sport. I harbor grudges. You know what? I like that idea better. We'll prevail. No, I like that one more. Rumors of the old rule. Whispers of a place. Whispers of a treasure. But the treasures of TV Town. The secret of Channel 4. Of Carousel. It'll be ours. Which will be a lot of fun. No matter what, it's going to happen. It'll be ours. Blowing up debris. Ooh. Derelict Raider gear. Ooh. But the New World Symphony, the fight for power in Nevada, is on the brink of spilling out in all-out war. We must find our place in this conflict, lest we fall to the soulless tribes that surround us. Kaga first chose this place for its isolation from any evil and its similarity to his homeland or oil. But over time, more and more forces moved into the region, quickly becoming a gauntlet that would soon unpredictably rage with border conflicts and diplomatic nightmares. Ultimately, Kaga must overcome this trial like he has any other, but will the pressure of outside forces cause his fear to crumble into agony? The outsiders know of nothing of our past struggles. We can forgive their ignorance. Kaga will not falter or fail. Um, infantry equipment. Infantry equipment wise, we are really out of a lot. We are trying to make some Sons of Kaga, which we do are using enforcers, which is very weird for us to use, but whatever. And manpower, 350. Core population of 5,000, not good. Um, hmm. We can forgive them? Well, we're kind of already going along with we'll prevail no matter what, so let's go with that one. And after that one. Hacking terminals? How many cities do we already have? One or two. That goes from TV Town. Every day, every, on every radio st and TV in the country, only one channel would be active, and only one would be on 24-7, Carousel. Carousel is a strange show, showing the lives of strange machines, people, as they about their fake days, uh, go about them, attempting to recreate the authenticity of human life. It was a very good illusion. Very often the sorcerer would fall apart and need to be repaired. Still, the sight of those mechanical beasts gave Kaga a raging curiosity. What sort of evil demon could possibly have created such a mockery of human life? Prepare to deliver this devilry. Ooh. Fortify our borders with his menace. Prepare for combat. Fortify the borders. Uh, prepare for combat. Because that sounds like we should be very aggressive and derelict raider gear. Some raiders long ago used to prowl this place, and the reason we can't take up the weapons they've left behind. Cap stash. And then hacking terminals. That was an old production network here long ago. By hacking it into some ter terminals, we can try to reboot it. We can figure the old factories to make the tools we need. Marianne's end. Hey, if you want to be the followers of the apocalypse, please go right ahead. Uh, do we want them? Uh, you know what? We'll just keep him for now. I don't really care about him. Shop between a foothold. This requires all of this. Fuel tax is not bad. We can wait to do all these. Getting these two done first would be the most important thing. But we can only get 1.25 political power every single day, which is not bad. Actually, where is this? TV Town, 215th. What is this? Oh my goodness. Over Boss Marianne. <sighs> wow. What an elite woman. Actually, are they down under their luck, too? Rumors of the old world, blow up to breathe. Oh, okay, so that too. Establishing a foothold. Oh. Expanding your foothold. A star is born. Major Glock stockpile. Is this a unique focus street? Top Raiders of. Or is this just a kind of generic focus street? C318. Walls of Jericho. Counts for the Raiders everywhere. Is that a unique focus street or not? Maybe not. No, maybe it is. Do they actually have a unique focus street? What? Okay. Well, it looks like there's at least 100 guns in the stockpile. This looks like it'll be, uh, last a good while. Use these guns for big battles. Ooh. Let's set these weapons so that we can make more. As much as I want 25% more break, that's very, that's very, 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 very strong. Um, we'll be in a war in a year, but you know what? <clears throat> Just go and do that one. That's fine. Blowing up debris. Lots of junk here. Let's make some space. So now we've got four factories in total. I need some support equipment. If we can get a bit more advanced power armor, we will. I've never really actually used enforcers in combat. I've always been wondering what nation I could play to actually use them successfully, but still. 
Uh, who do we have here? I was waiting for hacking for terminals. Let's see. Thunder War Chief. Border. Boulder War Chief. Wave War Chief. No one for Chief of the Air Force. We've got a Crusher. Which means, if you. This is really strong. If you lose you lose 10% defense, which is not good. But you get 20% more attack. So basically, you just, just attack. You're just going to do nothing but attack. Um, anyone here? Scientific Devotion. Air War Theorist. Militant Theorist. Ooh, that's not bad. Asymmetric Warfare, though. We do options down here. Wall Painter, um, Samuel Hayes, a Fuel Boy, Good Natured, all these guys, like normal. Friends and High Palace is like normal. Shaman's not bad. Spring Soldier's Losses. Eh, that's okay. Peaceful Origins. Tribal Elders is probably the one we want to go with. I I'm a sucker for more political power, my bad. And just. And 10% stability. That's something to laugh at. 10% stability is pretty good. Nope. Blowing up debris. Because we want more state population. Very nice. And then, uh, yeah, we need all five. Planning our attack. Looks like there are other groups in the valley as well. We will need to plan out a strategy to face them. I think also we're on ahistorical. I could be wrong. I'm pretty sure I left it on ahistorical, but you know, whatever. But overall, not bad. We really need more guns. And actually, ride control gear too. Yeah, we definitely need some ride control gear. You, however, are what? You're perceptive, intelligent, and inspirational. Now, I don't want to give Kaga too much here. I don't know how, if we're going to get like power armor later on or not. If possible, I think I would want power armor because power armor is one of my favorite. It's literally one of my favorite things to use in overall blues. If you've been following my channel for a while, you know I love power armor, especially a Mark II power armor, Enclave power armor. So, um, if we can get some of that type of power armor, I would love, love, love that. But oh well, if we don't have it, Planning your attack is good to do next, of course. Well, scavenge the old bot shops too. For the Great War, consumers would go to these little stations to repair and purchase their own little personal machines. Now a lot of them don't even function. No reason we can't strip a few of the uh, metals they have stored underneath them. And probably Marianne's end. God will pro go to prove to these raiders. This is not your home. Go back to where it came from. Hello. Oh, they're just fighting on us now, too. Okay, well. Maybe we don't have to go to war with them. I want to wait for our land auction. Um, anything here? It's a little ahead of time. Grab that. Can we see what they're doing right now? No, but if they're just fighting on us, technically, it won't be, shouldn't be too bad. We're losing money nine every month. That's not bad. Scavenging, of course. The old bot stops. Field of tactics. We found an old magazine. Let's try to put the tactics in it to use. A cap stash, of course. Uh, without a true banking system in the wasteland, many are forced to leave the caps in random little stashes across the wasteland. We're looking to find a few on our last patrol. One, two, three, four. Hopefully, get more organization because these guys are not very strong at all. Sons, sons, sons. We have four sons. And Cocker Spirit. These guys are 12 combo with, which is. Okay, armor's actually 15. That's actually pretty strong. 15 for armor? The power armor is only 20. That's not bad. Huh. Now we need less. We actually have some anti tank rifles too. Well, that's alright. I'm gonna go here to here and circle and destroy and then kill them all off and take out deep springs. Oh, they attack us. Let's see, we're on waste on economy. We don't want to go to every cap for the army. I'm really good at war with us, we get more war support. <clears throat> and, of course, we do get some more war support. Nice. You guys actually do that. Especially if they want to attack us. They're pretty beefy boys. We could use the field marshal, too. Oh, we don't have enough manpower to promote him, huh? Kinda sucks. Oh, there we go. Everett Armstrong. Um. I'm not really sure. Just get more attack. It's always good. But then again, we can't right now, so. We're considered a major power now. Huh. If they want to break through there, that's fine. Okay, let's get back here. Come on. Is this supposed to be this tough? No, oh, since we're here. Look up the army. Even with power armor, it's very tough. These guys should not be able to do anything here or here. I'm not. True to win, win, and win up here. 46 versus 69. Nice. You instantly lost as soon as you got up there. 
good. Keep on beating the snot out of them if you can. Why don't you go over here? This repeats itself. You have tactics? Eh, might as well. One of the rare times that actually works in our favor. I'm trying to get more command power that I'm actually okay with. They can pierce us though. So for now, I want both of you. Get some more command power. You wait right here. I was gonna go this way. Tribute? Nope. Well, they want to attack. They're more than free to. You start losing. Why can't we do get force command power? What the heck? What the heck? This is kind of stupid. Power armor. This power armor sucks. Get back in there. So stupid. That's incredibly stupid. You know what? Let him attack again. Screw it. Everyone else hold. Just give me a god dang encirclement. How stupid can this get? Oh my goodness. Uh, it's quite a bit of time. Is it caravan? I just want to make an encirclement, man. That's all I care about. Can we actually encircle and kill a division, please? For the love of God, please? Retreat. Attack. My God, you get no command powers this group. Which is why we're racing for the next command power thing. Because we have to force defense. Come on, get this stupid focus done. There we go, just in case if we need it. Marianne's end, of course. Cargo proof to these readers is not your home. Go back to where you came from, which is good. Um, attack defense. I want to wait for that one. I don't want to upset that one yet. War chief. Survive war goals time. You know what? That one's not really worth getting right now, the outside volunteers. I'm not sure who to choose for this one. Asymmetric might be really good to go down. What is this? Economic autarky. Cool. What's this? Keeper of the Ritual? No. I like that one a lot. Nothing there. That's usually too special. Screw it. Just get that guy. You're not allowed. What happened to. Why can't we do this? Of course you'd get sick. Oh, you better not. This is infuriating. Of course, you would get sick. You know, I'm about ready to do some funky stuff here. How difficult this is in the beginning is ridiculous. Do not let them move. You get back up here. Right now. Force it. I'm sick of waiting around for this. This is stupid. You're going to force attack or you're going to die. It's either one of these two. I think you guys go right here and you're going to help cut these guys off. Either win or die. Jesus Christ, this is dumb. At this point, like, we can't do anything. Are you even doing trying? They're not even trying. <laughs> How can they get any more organization or anything back? Capitol Hill's fallen. Thank oh my goodness. I apologize for raging so much within the first 15 minutes, but that's were so stupid. I get why it has to be difficult, but man, I thought, you know, Kago's supposed to be, you know, relatively okay to play as, but nope. Um, establishing a foothold. With a recent victory, we can expand our more bunker and solidify our presence in the valley. Because that was a stupid war. Which means it should be relatively easy when we play as 215, if we actually do, someday. Go with the militia, we don't have enough, uh, anything for that, really, so there's that. Um, hopefully, the rest won't be bad, because that's infuriating. Like, it's really bad. That's why I don't ever use infantry armor. Not good at all. Garbage. Ooh, the Rogue Ranger. That looks really cool. Veteran Ranger. Free Lawkeeper Division from Corrin. Lawkeeper Attack. That's pretty cool. It's an Isolationist. 
So they kind of have all the same starting generic sort of focus, which is kind of cool. And who is this? The Guardians, Cardinal Scott. So isolationists are killing each other, interesting. Down on our luck, potential initiates among us. Guardians of the whole world. That's cool. Yeah, that was a really bad war, though. My god, that was terrible. Cannot recommend that war to anybody. Uh, training Vagabonds? Spy runs. Honestly, let's get that one. Uh, hop in, we're grabbing guns. Because I hate it right here. I, it, you don't ever use it. Do not ever use it. That's why I never, 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 ever recommend people to use it. It's just not worth it. Um, what else? At least we went to a welcomed army. That's good. Anything else here? Crasher. 20% more attack. Honestly, I'd like to use that, but at this point, uh, airport and technology, why not? Spanning foothold. Foothold? Foothold. Units. Industry. Do we get power armor at all? If we do, I'm just going to go down that path. Exoskeleton. Exoskin. Armored slash forces. That's it. Exo Armored Special Forces, huh? Mm. Oh. Advanced Technical Armor, ATAB, there's that one. Rad Roaches, APA. Uh, Exo Special Forces? I don't see anything here. Special Forces Kit. Scavenge PA. Strip PA. We might as well go with Pioneers. Of course, we are tribal as well. Passive income does go up. We did get Power Arm Level 2, but not Special Forces, which doesn't make any sense, but okay. Maybe we won't go with Special Forces. Gehenna. Fortifications. Schematics. Origins. Units. Um, Warhound. Platoons. Ghouls. Ghouls. Super Mutants. Super Mutants. The War Boss, no. The War Boss has been called uh, as a pre-war vehicle our scavengers have been using. When decked out an armor vehicle with power fuels, it can really deliver a punch. Night cans, monster plants, lock your the tree. Bring the War Boss into battle. We can learn a thing or two from here. More attack and defense. Or attack and speed, really, for a year. Nah. Training Vagabonds. With enough work and a few lessons, even the homeless can be put to use. Junk rounds. The boys began working with some junk rounds put into their guns. We're going to need some more ammo as they had an extra day off. Day of work. Uh, the boys work in silence, each taking turns with his weapon, diluting gunpowder and other regular amenities with stranger uh, supplements such as sawdust. It's not like anyone noticed, right? Glock stockpile. Gas and clocks, finest right here in Esmeralda. Buy it now. Four ninety nine ninety nine. New Glock number fifteen auto pistol. G seventeen four twenty nine ninety nine. New Tech nine nine millimeter. M nine three fifty nine ninety nine. New round black, backed Fleck. F eighty six eight fifty nine ninety nine. Bullet pun eight millimeter. Man, stock buck home. Now this is a gun. Growing some crops. A man has got a cultivation. In this chapter, I'm going to talk to how to grow crops in your land. First up is the plant itself. This one is one of the easiest types of plant to cultivate, as you only need to give it a little water and some sunlight. It's also very easy to grow flowers on top of it. The plant's called Xander root. It's basically the kind of root vegetable, as far as I know, unlike banana yucca, which requires a lot of care. Xander root can be grown without any special maintenance and rural medicines. <clears throat> New Med American Medical Journal number 43. Except from surviving in the wilderness. The next day, we went out again and explored the upper reaches of the valley where we saw many wild animals. Thankfully, I knew what to look for in order to keep the wounds I've taken from growing infected. And this is a local flower. Right at least with a spike thorn and crushed before applying it on the wound itself. I could feel the pain begin to recede as I was able to fight off the infection in the gash. We made camp at a small creek near a small cave. Esmeralda Cigars. Esmeralda Cigars. It's all natural blend of natural and artificial tobacco with a strong, fruity aroma. It's available in three different sizes, but the large is the size that you'll smoke. It was one of Esmeralda's only exports, but remnants of a few lone supply crates filled with these cigars still abound in this part of the wasteland and strictly north. This is my north. North is my friend of Royal. Cargo carbon and a layer of blood and carnage. Alright, everybody, so now we can go to war with the Guardians and at the same time go to war with the Rogue Rangers. Do we want to do that? Um, well, I'm thinking about going to war with the Guardians because they're doing actually pretty darn well for now. Can't accept volunteers. Followers of the Apocalypse. Well, let's see what happens. We'll take out the weaker one for now, and then might be able to strike quickly enough into here, maybe, maybe not. So, I don't know, we'll see. We shall see. How's the real world medicines? Oh, uh, can't get too much plain stuff, which does kind of suck, but whatever. Um, that's way over, over a year ahead of time. I'm still waiting for land doctrine. Um, 
monsters are down here. Go and grab some dynamite. Why not? And you guys, yeah, we'll make that totally. You guys go that direction. Gather some enemy divisions. Scrap heat, please. And then what? Nice. If you guys want, just go this way. You should be able, should be able to do it, but you know we struggled earlier in this episode, so. Nope. Nice. Well, I'm gonna take them all because these guys are struggling mighty, mighty, mightily, and didn't do didn't do very much against them. So. I do wonder though, would we be able to push this way and just take their VPs that way? Maybe. Um, cap stash course. We've got a lot more going on here. Um, so, if I leave this open, could we just push this way? Take Benton and Apos Mesa, as well as Silver Peak. We'll see. But we do have a cup of coffee here now, finally, thank God, uh, to keep us nice and warm. Prepare for the combat. We do six divisions, two power armor divisions, so we'll see. Um, I might just use special forces in the end. We'll see, I don't know. It seem to take, to take a while. We do have special forces with piercing. Uh, they have law rangers. Looks pretty cool. And growing crops. Old world blues. That sucks. Here you go. That one too. Gun wise. Country side raid. Successful. Wait, what? You know, this ended up being way easier than I thought it would be. Don't get me wrong. I'm not complaining. But like a fat dude and a thin tall guy are the board guards. All we had to do is wait for the fat guy to drop a sandwich and we were already there burning down farms. Booty. That kind of good. Hmm. Okay. Give him a little more organization, and then we're gonna just push into here. Three. Oh, wait. oh. Oh, there's a trade node there. Well, that's nice. Too bad I don't care about it right now. Let's save just in case, and let them scrap. Go over here, and that'll reduce the amount of divisions they have. Hopefully, it doesn't cause an issue for us. But if it does, well, oh well. If we're fighting only two divisions, we should be able to win, right? Man, they move fast. 3v1. They can't pierce us, but we're still struggling a lot here. Just break through the division and go to Outpost Mason Benton. That's all I care about. I think over here we could do... Um, infantry. Well, what do you consider infantry? Walking infantry. They also consider uh, these guys to supply use. Well, might as well do that one. Go ahead. <coughs> Come on. Come on. Can they pierce us? Well, they can't. Yes, we can pierce them, but they cannot pierce us. Oh my god, fight. Like, this sucks so much. Oh my god. How much longer is it going to just force the attack? This is stupid. I don't like how this is, like, balanced. I really don't. 3v1, you should be able to win. These guys are actually 12 combo with 2, so there's no excuse why we cannot win here. Can you actually win there? Come on. Do that. Um, I'm do that too. And drunk rounds. We'll do this one too. We ain't got much time left. This is ridiculous. How strong they are. <laughs> this is absolutely ridiculous. Oh my goodness. Did they just pop out another division? Jesus Christ. Well, you gotta go to Outpost Mesa. You gotta go to Benton. Go in. Ah, they've motorized. That's why. That's what makes it so easy for them. And we lost, but expanding our no, foothold. With a hole this deep in Esmeralda Valley, few will be able to challenge your claim here. So, I know we don't have a land auction yet, but this has been unfun. It's really been not very fun at all. With six divisions, you know, these divisions are okay. They're not great. I never use enforcers. They're, they're garbage, like in my opinion. Like, I, I don't ever use these guys. They're not fun to use. And these power armor divisions, pretty bad too. Because they have, we have such weak power armor that I'm not sure that... I'm still not sure which way we should go. It doesn't make any sense. We're going to follow the signal. Uh, today on Carousel, uh, watches a band of marauders lay siege to this once peaceful little town. Will 4011 be able to survive the onslaught? Let's find out. 
The radios and TVs uh, blurted out on repeat. Strange little infomercials that seem to no longer be speaking to the past, but of the present. But the show carousel was thought to be a new, just curiosity. Now, now it means something a bit more. We need to get to the bottom of this, travel to this TV town where it is being processed, and try to put an end to this strange threat. And we're going to go down here to see what this exoskin uh, armored special forces are like. So, wonder sciences. Here in TV town, there's a science that some only thought a dream. We could earn a killing off the treasures here. And revenge against Arroyo. Well, <coughs> training time goes way down. Fighting techniques. Gange cores. But is there anything else unique here? No, you just get justifications on other people. Kaga replaced Nurino's Menace locked with Nurino's Menace. Infantry equipment from coring. Manpower from coring. Interesting. The Vault City. Pristine armor. Let's go to Zines. It's May. Or just tell them to get more output right now. It's fine. Um, and we did finish off the other nation if I didn't say it's already just it. I don't know. This is okay so far. It's not great. At this point, I guess we'll just... You know what? Mm. Well. Scavenge PA or Pioneer Kits? Or I guess we go all the way to Special Forces. No, no, we can't go to Special Forces. We can only go to Pioneer Kits. So, Breakthrough is better. Soft Attack is better. Speed is slightly worse. Reliability is slightly worse. Production cost is double. So, you see, they do use cells, but way more armor. Hard Attack is better. Hardness is better. I guess we'll go with power armor, but they're going to get pierced anyways. So we're going to guess go refine warfare? Because at least down this way, army that includes everybody, including enforcers, since we'll use them anyways. Um, infantry, scavenger sounds like, does that include enforcers? It does include enforcers. Uh, flexibility of command. It's not bad. Or flexibility of movement to get more breakthrough, which we definitely need more breakthrough. So... I could be making a mistake here, but whatever. At this point, I'm not sure. And I'm not very confident in Sons of Kaga's just campaign. Because it's not not great right now. Um, so, yeah, we'll see. Wonder Sciences. And Android Skin Armor. One thing we were able to take was a hardened porcelain skin off the corpses of the androids. When uses makeshift armor, makes masks and blades, the skins serve just as good as steel. Simulation. Don't really care too much. Here, just do that one to get that started. And sort of the Crescent Dunes. Don't care about that stuff. Don't care about that stuff. Don't care about that stuff. Um, Born Warriors. I mean, I did get uh, this guy. We get more attack at this point. I mean, why not? Um, I think they're force. Scoundrel. Peaceful Origins. Nah. We're not going to be very peaceful in this campaign. I already can tell. War Sport wouldn't be bad. Can we get any more War Sport at all? Power armor, stimulus. Well, let's see. Fuel boy, good natured. Destruction speed, two percent is not very much. If we get anything, let's get the base. Yep, more base. Looking not too bad on everything here, but let's see. Solids. That'll be good for defense. After that one, I guess technically we can go to war too. Automated production. A small but focused concentration of automated factories lingers in the heart of TV town. It's a relatively simple to exchange the blueprints the machines use to configure what they make. Now, are we going to struggle here too? Actually, before we kill them off. You know, we're probably going to struggle because the game does not want us to do well. People of tomorrow. Now, that's interesting. Compliance growth. Huh. The Sandman's influence. Sandman. Oh. Exoskin fabrications. Director's vision. Oh, population of TV town is being suppressed. Whoa, that's really bad. They do have unique folk street ish. Yeah. Interesting. Probably stop training, but whatever. Uh, cap stash, we'll just go with that one for right now. Are we going to struggle here too for no, literally no reason? Yes, we are. <laughs> they have up to. Wait, how can they... Yeah, I guess they... We don't have an anti-tank, which makes sense, but still, my goodness. Uh, how much money do we have, actually, right now? That's not bad. Oh, we have plenty. 
So any random prospectors, war measures, season patriotism. Um, uh, promise of loot. Organization goes down. Sure, why not? Let's get more war support. That's good. Over here, begin a route to the kingdom. Right? That should give us a little more caps. Hopefully that gives us more money. And after that one, um, claiming TV Town. TV Town is a miraculous place of wonder and science of the potential of the future, yet as not our destiny to stay here. We have our own goals to push forwards and towards our own future to claim. Yeah, pretty much. Hopefully we do well here. Um, probably the Vipers maybe next? Come on. There you go. Cool. Who is this group? Because I don't remember this part of Nevada very well at all. Uh, organization. Oh! Protection on Security Hub. No, they, they were moved. Okay, so they have a generic focus tree. Yeah, let's get some anti. Well, technically, do we have anti tank? Yeah, we already have anti tank. We just put them under divisions. So the Kaga. I mean, this is going to lower our armor, but they have to have piercing. I'm sorry, but they have to. There's no world where we don't have piercing for these guys. Scavenging efforts. Um, more daily compliance is not bad. We're carving anyways. Integrated tribe bad elders. Yeah, that's worth it. Um, yeah, I like that one too. Revenge gets a roll. So we're going to spend some time here cleaning everything else up as well. Ooh, this is a lot of Jacob's proof. Daniel Jacob before the Great War became famous for providing the proof to a decades old theorem related to the limits of energy storage. The proof explains a way to transfer energized quarks to quantum null car curves, saving space exponentially. While this proof would have been later been purchased by the Big MT company, we found a copy of the original on a hard drive within TV Town's central mainframe. <laughs> Android scavenging. All living inhabitants of TV Town turn out to be androids. Artificial humanoid robots with glass skin and powerful engines. While the act of taking out their town seems to have caused most of them to shut down, we're able to poke, locate a few semi-working robots to scavenge for parts. Flux drift engines. Flux drift is a special form of production in which the movement of magnetic gases through a concentrated turbine produces vast amounts of energy. Here in TV Town, there's large quantities of these unusual engines. So doing that, which is good. Um, not much very here. We actually might want to grab. Oh, we already have it right here, which kind of sucks for us. We already have it. Um, here, research speed. There we go. Android scavenging, of course. Bunch of android drown here. Um, carousel droids. The director of TV Town used to control a swarm of Mr. Gutsy's task with defending Carousel. With better work, we can make our task these robots a new role. Culinary robots. It's nice to be able to have robots that can cook for you. The previous Sorrow Carousel had plenty of these cook bots on hand at all times. They can make you meals, and they would deliver them to your house or wherever you were staying. Of course, it was a very convenient device. But I'm a human chef. One of the machines protested. Silly, silly machines. Anything up here really matters too much. Not too much. Honestly, this stuff is all good to get. Don't get me wrong, but revenge against a royal. For decades, I can I have craved revenge against a false one. We shall show them what we're made of. We're visiting the clans. Yakuza? Jackals, vipers, turning down the false idols. The false one's presence like a living plague. A cancer that must be cut away from the body of humanity. And now we can go to war with the vipers, but... They're also at war with the burrows, or slanter, no, slanter. Which is kind of different. It's like a wolf, raccoon type of person. Oh, wolf. Den dwellers, huh? And they have their own unique focus tree, too. Which is kind of cool, actually. Alliance with the vault dwellers. And alliance with New Reno. Interesting. So, we're going to take them out. We'll always split the territory between us and them. Oh, maybe you want to stop uh, training? And this game is it's mod, not game. Yeah, it's kind of the game. Kind of laggy. That's alright. Yeah, we're going to struggle greatly, but I did improve the amount of uh, battalions there are in here. So now they're actually 18 combat width. So they should do a little better now. No guarantees, of course. Construction speed, yes, please. And so they should do better, in theory. Um, anything else we can do about getting more well, stability wouldn't be bad. But already at 100% ish. Yeah, we're roughly at 100%, so not to worry about that. Not can't do that one. Uh, we did get construction speed because I don't really care about these opinions. So and if we have to, go ahead and do that one too. It's fine. Good gabs, I guess. Probably gonna get encircled and die there, but whatever. <clears throat> just now we're doing okay. It just it just helps if you uh, increase the amount of battalions you got. There you go. There you go. And we'll split this pretty evenly between us and them. So, slanter. There you go. And I'll take everything else. Wow, seriously? 
They didn't do anything. This is ours. So now we can do that. Central bots. Uh, I'd like to core, but nope. They're not going to demand anything from us. Tribute to the cannibals. Ha! As if we would pay these cannibals tribute, my men will crush any attempted resistance. Just in case, we can probably take these guys up too. Claim state? Yeah, might as well. Now we have 12 divisions. Not bad. Looking a little better. Uh, we can't increase the size of these guys yet, which does suck. I don't like to get more power armor, but whatever. Uh, in the meantime, go and grab that. Happy 2277, everybody. I apologize for raging earlier in this episode so far, but you know what? Sometimes it's just not great. Sometimes. You can invest in there. We're still trying to build more civvies. This game just found something. Oh. oh, also, we did get culinary bots. Uh, Watts Electronics. Not bad. Let's go look, see. There you go. And what's next? Breakthrough and speed, not bad. Can't do anything there yet, of course. We get some paddles. I get more construction speed. I want to build as fast as we possibly can. Because we we're a tribal nation still. I don't want to forget that. But God, it sucks sometimes. First, prepare for combat. Followers of the apocalypse. Rapid military training for now. Unsummoned refugees, whatever. You guys aren't looking super great. Do they have anything unique? They're infantry, but they're led by a raccoon. Dead protectors. Yeah, we'll see what happens. So, yeah, we're, now hopefully we'll do better from here on out, but you never know. 100% stability. War, that war sport's pretty good, though. Is that the case? Can we take out the jackals any faster, maybe? Oh, you know what's going to do here? Daniel Robinson. Feral Kid. Oh, I don't like that. We'll probably use him eventually. Kenji Gordon. That's a lot of red, but it hurts the speed. I and mean, we got some bosses speed already. Hurts our max padding and planning speed, which is not great. But we got way more. Oh, okay, plus 20% speed. Oh, we have like no max padding with this guy. Eh, okay, that's not bad. You guys can go here. Tribute to the cannibals. And flux draft engines. Richie hey, Gordon. Yeah. To learn as much as you possibly can. No, we want inspiration. It's fine. You guys do this. That'd be good. Let's get ready. Scarpen these bites. Give them a couple of days to get to where they need to be. I already told you to hold. Oh, you're going to go back now. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, that didn't make any sense, but whatever. Three. Two. They're entrenched. A couple more days, perhaps. First of all, we'll revisit the clan, too. The story goes that there's a clan out there in the desert, somewhere far away. A false one will stand against me. Their bloodlines and knowledge are too weak. Let's go and see what happens. Can we do well here? Some actual slightly good divisions. Slightly good. The armor's really bad, though. Of course, you don't use enforcers for armor. And if you do, you're doing it wrong. It's not bad. Keep getting more. <clears throat> and then we'll go to war these, these guys too. Uh, power armor, sure, why not? Promise of loot. Hurts our organization, but you, god dang it, we need that war sport. Flex draft engines. Anything here? Oh, I already learned. Nice. And, okay, so enforcers. Demo. Technically, with infantry, they are considered infantry. Spec ops, lawkeepers, militia. But that's not. Enforcers attack. Ooh, attack and speed. Nerd rage. I never do nerd rage. Do it. Nice. Greener projects. Nice. Compliance goes up. Get more output. Artisan villages. I like eggs. Eggs are nice. 1.43 is not bad. Military society. Flux drift engines. Visiting the clans. Why not? Ooh, actually, you go right there. You can get close to cutting them off. You guys go here too. You can take out the north that way, much easier. Oh. Oh, okay, so we have to have no on you stuff. Um, uh, Android's cabin, why not? There you go. You just hold. And they've been cut off. They still have some supply in the north, but you know, whatever. We'll get there. 
Old wall, wall holds. As long as no, no one else just flies on us, we'll be okay. And this one. <clears throat> we need to go all the way over there, which is going to take forever. It's alright, though. I would like to get to military academy training next, though. That'd be good. Nile Town. Go and start closing this up a little bit more. And even though we're struggling quite a bit, at least now, we're, we're not losing. That's the most important thing. And, oh god. Um, we are getting more XP. That's what I care about the most right now. There you go. <coughs> 23 versus 530, not bad. Anything else over here? No. Close out of that one for now. Every cap of the army? Nope. Mm -hmm. Watts of energy weapons wouldn't be bad. But we're going to keep building ourselves up. Hey, these guys are all going to die. 1, 2, 3, 4 divisions? Nice. Less supply use? Yeah. For everybody. Oh, well, except for the special forces, but whatever. It's fine with us. <sighs> Coffee's such a good thing. You're bored. Right. Yeah, go there. See what you can do. And now, trial of the snake pit. I'm sick about the Saudis' abominations and the false religion they follow, yet the stories they preach of Faust and his survival by the trials of the depths of the Great Hole in their village intrigues me. I'll survive the same challenge as he did. I've become a better warrior for it. We need way more infantry armor still. Not bad. We're starting to run out of things for research. We're not that advanced of a, tech, uh, of a nation, as you probably already know. And also, by doing this, we get plus 2% more army XP, which is almost nothing. But every little bit will add up over time, so we'll get like plus 20% army XP. To the point where it doesn't even matter anymore. And more struggle means we can probably get more uh, level up for generals and two such. So that'll be very good. And then we'll go to war these guys too. Yay! It's a snake pit. Of course, we need to read all of these. We have these ones already read. Um, more war sport. Strange robots. We have found some robots on the outskirts of our land. They seem lost, unsure where to go or what to do. No reason we can't scrap them for parts. No reason. No, man, just go in there. Can they pierce us? No, they can't, but we can pierce them. That's why I give them piercing. Losses, about 1,000. Roughly 2,000. Not bad. Beautiful. Hey, we got them, finally. So many nations in Old World Blues to play as. Burrows. Nope. I'm gonna push this around, you son of a rock sucker. Trial of Snake Pit right there. That there snake pit. Um, let's get started. Get our guys on the line first, and then we'll start doing the revisiting the clans. Let's get away for our divisions to get on the line first. There you go. Speed up, you ding dong. There you go. Artisan villages. This is mean we have to attack. The more output would be delightful. <clears throat> get more organization first before we go to war, <coughs> and then we'll see what happens. And now, what? Let's go to war. So now we have no unused things, so we can do that one too. Now they attack us. Oh boy. Now we attack them. Oh boy. Oh, they're forcing the attack. Oh boy. Should be getting a lot more here. Exploration? Yes. I usually like this one, so. Oh, they're trying to empty That sucks. We're going to lose there. But they're forcing the attack. It's good for us in the end. Yeah, they're pretty entrenched. No, good. They lose here, whatever. We're going to keep pushing through here too. They have a lot of, quite a bit of resistance. A thousand manpower left. A bunch of militias. Stockpile. They're not doing too bad. Infantry women and support equipment. They just start breaking through here, though. Which is good. If anything, I want you three to go right there. You're going to circle and get rid of the capital. Visit the clans. Flying techniques. Or fighting techniques. Yeah, wrap the point. Good, good, good. More breakthroughs. Always welcome. And I always go down this left side just because I like it more. And get more special forces too. Basic tools. Nope. So they're being cut off. We're gonna come back up here and do jump arounds. Or strange robots. Strange robots first, why not? You are learning so much. Um Rudy would not be bad, especially for just getting more defense, basically. 
Rooted. I always go rooted. Plus one entrenchment is very nice. We're going to go with infantry because technically these guys are considered infantry, are they not? They come over here. Composition is 100% infantry, so they are using infantry. So in theory, that should work. I could be very wrong though, so don't quote me on that. If you know, please let me know in the comments below if you're still watching. If you're still watching, thank you. I know it was very rigid earlier, like I said, but still. I get frustrated somewhat easily. Because, my god, life sometimes sucks. <clears throat> nice. Oh, no. No one to force defense. Oh, boy. Beautiful. And the Yakuza territory is next. Even more beautiful. Ah. Ah. Delightful. Alright. Cap. We're here. Shaman. I do want to do this. Give more research speed, war support. You know what? Do it anyways. Go ahead. Oh, and it looks like we're going to split you up then. You guys go here. You guys go here. Strange robotos, huh? Junk rounds? Might as well. Teaching raiders of our way. Okay, everything here. I tell them to learn the lessons of the strength that I've learned. The scars on my back will be theirs. Find techniques. Dodge, parry, thrust. The Yakuza will teach me how to fight. When I'm done, my opponents won't even notice my age. Yeah, I'm also get some guns. Guns are nice. It's nice to have guns. So do we need... What, what are we on production? So we need way more ride gear. Pretty normal. Guns are more than fine. Stonks. Ooh. Adobe housing. Extraction gain because he can. Um, we're trying to things to research now. Not good. Recon might be really beneficial. Let's grab some of this though. Let's see how strong these guys are, and then we'll go to war. They may start attacking us, which is fine with me. Can you guys actually push yourself out? Or maybe we should just concentrate our forces. That's probably a better idea. If they want to attack us, that's fine with us. How many divisions do we got? We don't want to keep getting more army XP. That's going to be the most important thing that we do right now. Up to 12 divisions, which is not bad. We have 15. Should we going to break down here? Break down here. Maybe we can go down to this tile. It's only one tile. One, two tile. And then, uh, yeah. You guys stay there. <clears throat> God's the encirclement. Hope they do okay. Alright, what do we got here? More special forces. Less supply. Donks, nice. I might even make these enforcers even bigger. We'll see. Supply use goes down or more army XP. Well, I want to get more army XP no matter what right now. This costs 50. We're at 44. Let's wait to get there, maybe. Or you guys do that, maybe? Nice. Very nice. And there you go. Don't start pushing in. Everyone start pushing in. Oh, did I not give you orders? My bad. Take one more day, there you go. Go ahead. 48. Should be 49 very soon. And then, uh, yeah, we'll get there. But unfortunately, now we're all out of coffee, and I'm very sad. And 50. It's just 50. I can do more special force stuff, but whatever. Um. Okay. Don't really have to even encircle them. I guess Bridgeport will become the capital now. If they don't surrender. All right. It's fine with us. Yeah, Bridgeport is capital. Nice. Very nice. Fighting techniques. Let's come back up here and do some uh, Glock stockpiles. Struggling a little bit. 
That's okay. But we do have 44. 45. Alright, we're speaking of air technology. Doesn't really help us out that much at all, does it really? No, it does not help us out. Um, down here, stability. Since we're using power armor, get more max speed. Nope. Not gonna push this around, and we got him. God. Sounds like Kaga has such a rough start. We're end up doing not too bad right now. So after that, we will end up doing our ways. Machine men. Oh, yes. I had to find the androids of TV Town. These machines look positively quaint. Nice. So we'll do that stuff. Of course, we did this one. Man, company stock. Fine. Now, this is a gun. Uh, strange communications. As we march deeper into Esmeralda, we're finding more and more signs of something odd in this place. Could it be the treasure we are searching for? Clearing the Rad Scorpion Hovel. A group of rabid rabid scorpions made themselves at home in our territory. When you drive them out, a local wasteland has offered to help us in this task in metal cash. An old military site has some metal we can repurpose for our own ends. There's a lot of cash and surplus goods here. We could use, could be used to make a simple fortress and then valuable hollow tapes. We found some valuable hollow tapes in an old stash. The dad's encrypted, but we should be able to pawn it off some caps. But if you enjoyed the episode, somehow, please leave a like, because I, I would really appreciate it. Subscribe if you are of the new variety. Uh... Check out my Discord link in the description below if you haven't already. And I will see you tomorrow as we continue expanding the Sons of Kaga. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.